Good morning. So, today we're following my day. So Molly, thanks Molly, nominated me to do the 5k, so that's what I'm going to do now. Really looking forward to it. I'll let you know how it goes. So I just got back and I'm looking not as red as I was, but still not cute. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup now and I'll show you my outfit. To be honest, for the like last few weeks, I've been like getting up and trying to do some form of exercise most days anyway, and then like having a shower and getting ready, just like I have done today. So this is quite an accurate representation of what I've been doing in this time. For some reason today, I like popped off and was like, Avril Lavigne, who is she? And I like, put pink under my normal, just like brown eye. What kind of day is this gonna be? So this is my new little work setup because obviously, don't know how long I'm gonna be here, potentially and probably into my exams. So I have to like, prepare to be here doing my revision and stuff. Obviously I'm still working and things um, pretty much every day because that's what I would have done at uni. Uh, but yeah, I might have to like revise and actually sit my exam. So we have a spare room very luckily and this is now my, my office. <laughs> just a quick outfit of the day. I'm literally just wearing a black top that I've tied at the back to make it like come in more and not be as big. And this little checkered skirt. I've tried pretty hard to like continue to dress how I would have done normally even if no one except like my family's gonna see it because to me that helps me stay in a routine. It's so simple but like it's helped so much I think. Oh. I know oh, I'm more interested in the toner. Right? So we did pizza last night like homemade pizza. We have leftovers today. Isn't that exciting? Also been trying to like spice up the food a little bit to keep that as interesting as possible. Got pizza scones and everything which is unnecessarily fancy but it makes it really crispy. She's ready! So I'm going to make some cheesecake. I'm gonna make a lemon and lime cheesecake with like a sort of gingery bready base. And when I bake, I always watch something, normally something cooking related. This is not a good angle for me, but you can see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm gonna watch a, oh, it started, Heston's Fishy Feast, which is a great name, but basically he like makes crazy dishes for like selected guests, um, like a like, full course meal. It's, it's a good time. <laughs> Loki, my chest still hurts from running earlier because I'm just not a good runner and I get really like, you know, it's not even that I get tired, I do get tired too, but like also really in my chest. Um, but I'm really glad I did it because like, good cause and all. I'll put the link in the description, even if you don't want to run. Um, if you do run, it's like you run 5k, you donate five pounds. So if you want to donate anything, I'll put the link below. And actually on the same charitable note, I have a very cool sponsor today for this part of the video. Um, just something that I wanted to share with you because although we're going through something pretty crazy right now, I think it's also really important to remember climate change is still a thing, that is still happening. And whilst I know it's important and not everyone has to be using this time to better themselves every single minute of every single day, I do think it's a really good opportunity to be a go-getter. For example, if you have a blog or an online platform or a channel, using this time to think about the sponsorships you wanna get, getting on board with brands, thinking about all of that, then I'm personally thinking about that and I'm thinking, well, what is the point in making all of this so much better for myself if ultimately, the world around me is not okay. Surely being successful in a world that is running out of time is near pointless. So on We Are 8, basically everyone and anyone can go on and get sponsorships and get paid to watch brand messages. And then every time you watch something, the brand will donate a portion of money to charity. So by going on and just watching about five minutes a day, you are getting paid yourself and you're also doing something good for the world. <laughs> Didn't know it's actually Earth Day on the 22nd of April. So on We Are Eight, we can stand together and do our bit to reverse climate change 
in a fun way and doing something good for the world in this time. Basically an app where you get to work with brands, you spend five minutes a day, about 10 brands, uh, and you get to make your impact at the same time. If you are interested in We Are 8, then definitely make sure to check them out. And of course, the link will be in the description below, especially on Earth Day. Join them for all sorts of speeches, messages from climate supporters and that kind of thing, and stand with me. Yeah, it's just a fun way to add to the steps of things you're doing to tackle climate change, especially easy to do right now from home. So if you are interested um, and this has intrigued you, then the link will be in my description. And now I want to learn a TikTok dance, but I have to do my project. So I might do a bit of my project and then learn it. If you don't already follow me, it's that online new, hit me up. Let's not get ourselves copyrighted for the dances. So yeah, I do... I do a bit of everything. Got some dances, want to learn some more because obviously I dance anyway so it's kind of funny to do TikTok stuff. And then my dog. I'm trying to learn that Camp Rock one. Oh my god, you can't even see me. I'm trying to learn the Camp Rock one where they're like, that one, you know? <laughs> Thanks, Jack Biggs, for uh, the tutorial. Keep that on my TikTok soon. It's not the prettiest thing I've ever made, but here we are. So what have we done? Had some cheesecake, very importantly. Um, I have sent off some links for this uh, video I'm doing to my manager just now and that kind of inspired me. I kind of want to work on my birthday list because <laughs> it's my 21st birthday. Uh, funnily enough, and this may not age well, but the day after our new lockdown ends, I'm so sceptical that it's actually going to end then. It seems so soon. Um, it also seems so far, but it feels like it feels like a long time away so I yeah my birthday's the 8th of May and the current end is the 7th of May so either way I will be asking for some material things for my birthday which I was probably going to do but I really wanted to like have experiences which obviously I can't really ask for now or have to be delayed so that's why I'm doing this list um it's mainly just some clothes and stuff I did some uni work don't worry I, I got in there with some uni work. This is so posh of me, but look how nice this avocado is. I mean, I've really outdone myself today. Like it? Is it nice? <laughs> um, I've been making quarantine quotes. I'll just, no, I won't show you, but I'll just, I'll show you how many there are uh, since we've been here. So, I mean, since like basically a month and they're just, that's how long it is of things my mum has said that have amused me. Anyway, I wanted to share the reason I made the guac and the we had the tortillas is because we've done this nearly every night for at least like three of the four weeks and we have like a drink and we like sit down and whatever, which is cute. It's just something we do. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the thing I was actually telling you about, which is a watermelon martini. Tina, are you tired? Do you want to go to bed? Good boy. I thought you might. I thought you might. We're making meringues now because we had egg whites left over from making ice cream. So we're being resourceful. And it's dinner time now. So she's she's not not triggering. What are you making us watch? It looks like me. And now, honestly, I'm done. I'm going to bed. Um, I have like a lot of uni work to do tomorrow. So... I'm gonna go to bed now. I'll probably watch something in bed. I've been re-watching um, a series of unfortunate events and I've just like caught up with where I originally got to. My chin is really red. So I'm gonna watch that probably. Um, and I also have season six of Brooklyn Nine-Nine to watch. So yeah, exciting. <laughs> um, and thank you so much for watching today. I hope it was interesting to see what I'm up to and I wish you all the best. Uh, in this time and if you haven't seen my like amusing videos I've been putting up recently I've been doing A level papers for your amusement um, so I did chemistry and biology go check those out and I will see you in my next one let me know if you have any requests and follow me on all my social media it's all just at online new um, just got TikTok and yeah see you soon <laughs>